Welcome to Reviews Done Quick. Today we're going to be looking at WandaVision episodes 1 and 2. Starting with the good. Brilliantly accurate recreation of 1950s sitcoms. Feels like watching the best episodes of I Love Lucy I've ever seen. My husband and his indestructible head. Fantastic chemistry between Olsen and Bettany. We saw the first inklings of it in Captain America Civil War, and much more so as it developed into a full-blown relationship by Infinity War. Now with the full glory of the spotlight on them in WandaVision, it's great to see these two play off of each other so well. Paul Bettany is absolutely hysterical. As usual, Marvel manages to find great actors who nail their characters and also manage to bring wonderful comedic timing to the table. Yeah, what she said. Tonight, we will lie to you. And yet you will believe our little deceptions because human beings are easily fooled due to their limited understanding of the inner workings of the universe. Flores. Intriguing hints of where the story is going. From the first episode's zoom out reveal that WandaVision was being studied in the real world to the sewer's emergence of the Beekeeper of Doom. It's safe to say my interest is peaked. Catherine Hahn killing it as usual. Does this hysterical actress ever bring anything less than her A-game to a role? From dynamite comedic roles in Step Brothers and Parks and Rec, to more serious fair and transparent, and even voiceover talent as Doc Ock from Into the Spider-Verse, this talented chameleon never fails to brighten up a project with her presence. Don't shoot, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> and now the bad. Possibly too accurate of a recreation of 1950s sitcoms. If that style turned you off or you didn't watch these shows on Nick at Night growing up, WandaVision's early episodes might just end up feeling outdated and boring. My apron is a bit much, dear, but I am doing my best to blend in. A little bit slow. Considering we haven't had an MCU release since Far From Home back in July of 2019, it's a pretty bold move to reacquaint us with the franchise by starting with a black and white sitcom devoid of any of those massive Marvel set pieces. So, what's your name? Feels just a little derivative of 1998's Pleasantville, starring Tobey Maguire, Reese Witherspoon, and William H. Macy. And by the way, if you haven't seen the sitcom satire film, I highly recommend you do so at your earliest convenience. Overall, WandaVision episodes 1 and 2 are an intriguing and refreshing start to the next era of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. While some viewers might be turned off by the style and format, I think we will see this bold approach pay off in spades as we get deeper into the series and the connections back to the rest of the MCU become more apparent. This has been Reviews Done Quick. Thanks for watching. That was my grandmother's piano.